Hi, I'm Mary Shen McCready from the Agricultural and Biological Engineering Department at the University of Florida. In 2005, it was estimated that the population of Florida was growing at a rate of 1,100 people per day. As our population grows, so does the need for more efficient use of our water resources. One area with huge potential for water savings is irrigation of the home lawn. A technology available is the soil moisture sensor. This device can reduce water applied in the home lawn and maintain adequate turf quality. So today I'm going to tell you briefly how soil moisture sensor systems work, then I'm going to give you a few basic steps on how to install them in your home lawn, and finally, after installation, I'll tell you how to set up your irrigation system. Soil moisture sensor systems are designed to prevent irrigation when it is unnecessary due to adequate water already being in the soil. The system consists of a soil moisture controller and a soil moisture sensor, which are attached to an existing irrigation timer. The soil moisture sensor is buried in the area to be irrigated and is wired to the soil moisture controller. The controller is then wired between the irrigation timer and the solenoid valve. When the amount of water in the soil reaches a certain set point, the soil moisture controller goes into bypass mode, which prevents the irrigation timer from sending a signal to the solenoid valve. For bearing the sensor, you should select a location five feet from the roof line and three feet from any impervious surfaces. This includes paved driveways or high traffic areas where the soil could be more compacted. You should also select a location at least five feet from any sprinklers towards the center of an irrigation zone. Now the first step in burying a sensor is to cut away a piece of the grass and just simply roll it over like we have done here. Then we take the sensor, place it in the soil and you want to put this on three inches for turf grass so that it's in the roots of the grass. Then we're going to cover it with some of the soil that we pulled away. This is to ensure that we get good contact between the sensor and the soil, but we don't want to press it too hard. After that, we simply pull the grass back on top and we've buried our sensor. Once the sensor has been buried, it needs to be calibrated to your soil. This is simple. Take a five gallon bucket of water and pour it directly over where the sensor was buried. Then wait 24 hours. If it rains during the 24 hours, you need to restart this process. The water content after 24 hours should be used to establish the controller threshold. Now, your sensor may have specific instructions from the manufacturer. If so, you should follow the instructions in the operating manual. The final step in setting up your new irrigation system is programming the irrigation timer correctly. For this, a tool called the Urban Irrigation Scheduler is available online through the Florida Automated Weather Network, or FON. The web address is fon.ifis.ufl.edu. Once you have the website open, simply click on the word Tools and scroll down until you find the Urban Irrigation Scheduler. The scheduler then gives you three options for locations in Florida, the North Zone, the Central Zone, and the South Zone. For this example, we'll select the South Zone. Then for each irrigation zone in your irrigation timer, you'll pick the type of sprinkler for that zone. For this example, I will pick the rotary sprinklers. The website then gives the length of time in minutes that irrigation should be set in the timer based on two day per week watering restrictions. For more information on soil moisture sensors or other irrigation control technologies, visit irrigation.ifis.ufl.edu.